Hi, so just a quick video to introduce to you Bauma's latest uh, performance contrast sensor. So this is the OC60D. So it's our advanced uh, contrast sensor, which has both uh, color and standard mark detection capabilities. So it's got an RGB LED within it, and you've got here a display on there to allow you for easy setup and uh, to view the parameters that you've set up to and to toggle through the menu system as well, which is what you've got the buttons for. So you've got your set button and your plus or minus buttons to scroll through the menu and also to adjust the hysteresis of the switch point that you've set, which is visible via the LED display there. You've also got some uh, LED indicators that tell you, the first LED here telling you the output is on or off. The uh, first of the smaller LEDs is to tell you that the sensor is ready, whether the delay function has been enabled and whether the sensor is now locked for adjustment so it's ready to run and you can't adjust the switch point on it until you unlock the sensor. So uh, the nice thing about it is that it has uh, uh, variable options on how you wish to position the sensor and how you wish the cable uh, to be mounted uh, with respect to the sensor. So the connector here is twistable into five different positions. So we've got position one here, position two, three, four, and five. So you've got five different positions where you can have the connector coming out or the cable coming out of the sensor via the connector there. You also have the option on which orientation you wish the light to come out from the sensor. So whether you want the light to come out from the bottom here or come out from the side here with respect to the display and the, the way you've mounted the sensor. So you've got your mounting through holes there and also you've got your mounting holes here. So it's pretty standard size contrast sensor. To switch the lens position around, just remove the blanking plate there, remove the lens here and switch it around like so. And refit the blanking plate, there we go. So now the light will come out of the RGB light will come out of the sensor in this orientation and not this orientation anymore. So nice and easy and flexible in the way you mount it and also how you cable into it for ease. And you've got all the functions available through the menu system and the display to be able to show you and easily parameterize the sensor. So this sensor here is a PMP version of the sensor. There is an MPM version of the sensor available. This via the teach in the fifth pin allows you to teach in uh, dynamically or static in your application. And of course you've got your light dark uh, changeover, whether you wish the sensor to be light on or dark on. So there we go. In terms of response speeds for the sensor, you're talking in standard mark mode, 0.016 milliseconds. If you're working in color mode, it's 0.1 milliseconds and still with very good uh, jitter capability. So can be used in high speed operations. So the jitter on normal mark mode is uh, under 0.016 milliseconds and for color mode, 0.05 milliseconds. So yeah, it's a standard 20, uh, 24 volts DC uh, unit, light dark operate, PMP output and allows you to do both color and mark applications with a nice display. Also to note, the lens fitted on the sensor as standard is a nine mil lens, uh, giving us a beam spot of one and a half mil by five mil uh, vertical line in this case you have the option to change the lenses to produce uh, similar size uh, beam spots, but at different distances. So if you need to increase the working distance, you can get anything up to 
40 mil away with different lens selection. And it's just a screw on change, just as uh, I showed you to change the orientation of where the beam comes out from. For the practical demonstration, I have set up this uh, registration uh, sheet here, which has got different colored marks on. So black marks going to gray and also some different colors here, just to show you what the performance is like on different colors and how it can perform in not falsely triggering, triggering from one color to another. So now on to the practical test, uh, just to show you how the setup in color mode and mark mode goes. So you can see as I set the uh, sensor on uh, with power, you can see I'm producing my nice RGB uh, beam spot there. Uh, so it looks like a red, green and blue tingy color. Uh, and the mode is color on the LED uh, display here. So I can move the mark uh, the beam spot over to a mark and I can say press set on here so and you'll see the display will show set C for setting a color once that's done and that display disappears uh, the sensor is ready that LED is on and you'll see our main LED is off so if I now move off the mark you see the LED comes on so <clears throat> we have set this color up as our output and you can see the output turns off when on. Of course, you can reverse the logic on that to say, turn the LED on or the output on when you see the mark. So normally closed to normally open, etc., etc. So you can see it's detecting that mark very, very easily. I put the other color marks of the same color underneath. The sensor, you can see it detects those quite easily. If I change to a different color here, you can see that the sensor does not trigger at all. So it's very stable on picking up only on the color that we've set. So if I go to now a orange color or a yellow color, a red color or a gray color, you see that sensor does not switch only on the color that we set it for. So very stable there, you see. Okay, so that's how you set up the color mode and how you set up a color registration mark. Again, you can reset it to a, another different color if you wish. So if I choose now this orange colored uh, mark here, just line her up and I press set, you'll see set C is there. I keep the target steady and the mark steady. It's now set as set C has gone away and you can see the sensor is ready. Again now, when I line up in front of the registration mark, the output turns off. And again, let's change it to a different color just to test. You see no false triggering on a different color I go to a red, which is not too dissimilar from an orange, and do that, you can see no false triggering on that there. Okay, so now we can show you uh, how to change the sensor into a standard mark mode sensor. So all we do is press and hold the plus and minus buttons together at the same time. The menu screen pops up, you saw momentarily if I press set and you see that mark is written there instead of color all I do is press save press the plus, plus button and press save and now you see the beam spot color may change to a single color here until we get to our mark but you'll see that the display also changes from a uh, from its original display to now a numerical display, which tells us how much light is being received uh, from the sense uh, target. So if I go over our standard mark here, you see I'm getting 
around 690 units. If I move to our white paper, I'm getting around 2,000 units of light. So if I wanted to set this mark up, all I do is put the mark under the sensor like so, and press the set button Oops. until set one displays. Then it will ask me while this is blinking to move to the background. So if I now move to our background and press set again, it automatically sets up the trigger point, which it thinks is most suitable and the right color, which it thinks it's most suitable. So now detecting the mark on the output comes on, on the background, the output goes off. And again, you can reverse the logic on that, no worries at all. And this will just detect anything that meets that threshold of switch point. So various colors that meet that threshold will give us a switch. That one was not dark enough. You see here, so there's no switch here. And of course the lighter colors. Oh, it does give it enough of a threshold change to mark uh, and give us a trigger on those. Let's see if this red is picked up. It does. So there you go. That's a standard mark mode uh, for that sensor there. Um, you can, again, go back to color mode or toggle through the menu by pressing and holding the plus and minus together. It allows you to have selection through the menu and I can change it to color, save, and there we are. Back onto color mode, and you can see the beam spot color has changed again to our red, green, and blue mix. I can now press and hold set, and it'll say set C for set color. It's now trained in that color, and it says color on the screen. And there we go, it's ready to go. So if you wanna go through the menu system, you can do that by pressing and holding the menu. And you can toggle through by press, uh, pressing the plus and minus, and you can go through save, reset, the display up or down, the time delay timer on or off, uh, when you want normally closed or normally open, output, and back to that front menu again and toggle through. So there we go. That's how you set up a color and that also how you set up a mark and how to toggle through the menu system. So you can set a delay anything up to 100 milliseconds and you can also uh, change from normally closed to normally open output. And when you uh, the sensor is locked, the third LED will come on. When you incorporate a delay, that second LED where the clock is will turn on and you can set what you wish, anything from zero to 100 milliseconds as the delay. So just to summarize the OC60D advanced contrast sensor here is great for both mark and color detection uh, capabilities or applications. So registration marks, color marks for timing and cutting and gluing type operations, perfect for packaging uh, operations or printing operations. It's got a metal body. Uh, it's got a connector which can be moved into five different uh, positions for ease of cabling into. You've got uh, the orientation change for the lens and also different lens options. So you can fit a nine mil lens, which is standard here uh, from the factory, but also you've got uh, an 18 mil lens option, a 22 mil lens option, a 28 mil uh, lens option, and a 40 mil lens option. So with the standard uh, nine mil lens, Fitted, you get a beam spot of 5mm by 1.5mm line vertical 
Uh, and from that nine mil uh, focusing range, you've got plus or minus three mil uh, working distance from there. So you've got a nice display on there, uh, allowing you to visualize the set point and toggle through the menu. You've got some LEDs that indicate the status and the output and your nice buttons here to set your uh, sensor up and also adjust the hysteresis or the switch point and this type of thing. Easy to mount with your mounting holes at the side here and also at the bottom. So there we go, the OC60D contrast sensor for mark and color detection at high speed with low jitter.